What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G Miles World. And right now we're going to be talking about something you should be doing right now if you want to get that new out of position strong safety Bo Jackson 95 overall 99 zone. I'm going to show you guys what's going on. I'm going to give you guys the best options to go ahead and get them. Um, pretty much what happens is this. I'm going to go over his abilities really quickly uh, just to let you guys know. He does get Acrobat for 1 AP. It did light up once in 4 games for me. So I don't know if that's like a big deal. He also gets a Deep Out Zone uh, KO for 1. If that's something that you guys were interested in doing. Remember, he can get the Pick Artist for 0 as well. Don't forget that part because AP is very critical in the game. So if that's something that you wanted to do or add, uh, that's something I would definitely recommend if you want to go Pick Artist just to be safe over Acrobat. Because to be honest, the, you know, the rarity in which it happens is probably not worth it. These are his numbers overall, which is why he's a really good card. You can see the 99 zone, the 99, 96 speed, and then obviously this is part three. So there's one more part of Zero Chill, more than likely the running back uh, version of Bo Jackson uh, will be out there too. So let's go over some of the methods really quickly, and I'm gonna break it down uh, for you guys right now. The first thing that you can do, right? You can go ahead and you can make a lot of the stocking stuffers um, I don't know why I just went back into my lineup, but it is what it is. I try to move over uh, to the side, but let me go over here to the item manager. We're going to jump into the zero chill because remember, he's a limited. All right. So because he's a limited, you're not going to be able to obviously do a set piece for him. But I'm going to show you guys what I was doing and how I was able to get him very, very cheap. So this is it right here, right? I was playing around with this and making the 90 overall zero chill elites by getting these things done. Like I was making a bunch of 85s, I was making the 90s. The math works out about the same, so it doesn't really matter. I wouldn't waste time selling each individual 85 that you open because it's a waste of time. So I would just make the eight and just turn it into a 90 and then choose Parham. Parham is one of the most expensive ones uh, that you can use. and. Um, each one of his is like about 55 to 60K and you can get, I got, I sold them for like 80K, I think a, a few times. I'm going to show you guys what's going on with that. So out of these eight, you would make, you would make the nineties, right? The nineties are selling for, like I said, between 55 and 70K right now while the market's hot. You can go ahead and utilize, and remember, this is all stuff that I already had, because some of you guys were wondering what you were going to do with those presents that were low overalls. Build them up, make stocking stuffers. I was selling stocking stuffers earlier for very, very high prices. Now, once you do that and you make up the money, that's one of the ways to be able to cut the cost and get them cheap. Now, let me see if they, they're going to show uh, my auctions, because sometimes it doesn't show up. Um, so look, I kept selling the Donald Parham just to give you guys some insight. 65, 65. I was just selling them over and over again. I sold them for 74 there. Um, the 90s, I'm going to show you how I was getting all these 90s in a second. Uh, the other 90s, because these weren't ones that I made. I actually pulled those. I'm going to show you guys the different ways to do that. Um, we did sell Teddy Hendricks yesterday, but these are just the examples of how you can make up the coins to be able to cut the cost, obviously, for the Bo Jackson Strong Safety. Now, that is if you were one of the individuals that had a lot of presence and low over overall zero chill items in your binder now for those of you guys that are looking to do it with you know a certain amount of coins like yo g i got maybe you know 250 to 500k coins you know i'm trying to get this bow i need another 400k for him because right now he's currently going for 900 let's go take a look at that really quickly um inside of the um inside of the auction house we're gonna go take a look at that and just like right now with the way his price is, just to gauge where we are with it so that way everybody's on the same page at the time the video was made. Cause I don't want somebody to come back later like, yo gee, he's so cheap now, I can do whatever. This is where he's about right now, all right? I was able to sell my uh, Lynch, uh, John Lynch, and um, pretty much get him for very, very cheap. Uh, so I got, I think I, I, I plunged at like 900K or something like that. I believe that's what I did, but I can check so that you guys can verify what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, 900K, so there it goes right there, all right? So what was I doing to create my chances of also getting more 85s and possibly pulling Bo Jackson? The 30K zero chill set, all right? Now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna put away a couple coins for this pack right here. Do not spend real money. I repeat, do not spend real money. This is a gamble where you can put a you know put aside a certain amount of coins where you're usually going to be able to make back up what you actually spend in the coins and then if you're lucky enough you'll pull Bo Jackson or some other ghost or something ridiculous out of the pack. So the method is simple, right? Most of the 85s that I was getting, I was going back and making 90s and then, you know, pretty much selling the 90s and going back and repeating and repeating. Even if you just get like um you know, the 82s, the 82s can also make the 85s. So this is another way that people were doing it. Now remember, you only want to 
you, you don't really want to spend too much. You don't want to go crazy with this. Like if you don't have a lot of coins, don't go crazy. You know what I'm saying? You're just trying to gamble with a little bit, maybe 250K worth, whatever, and try to see what the odds are. Now, some of you guys from watching this are going to make out better than others. It's always a gamble. It's EA Sports. You know, it is what it is. But I want you guys to understand, you can also quick sell all of these things and take your chances with the training variety pack as well. All right. Like in this case, we got 285 instead of the 85 and the 82. I'm going to go down to about, I guess, like 2.8. I pretty much, you know, allot myself, you know, 200K, 250K, I'll play around with these packs. Because everything is going on right now with zero chill, you don't really lose with it. So you can gamble and get away with it a little bit more because everybody's actually spending. Once zero chill is done, you have to obviously find a different way to make the coins up because we're not in the business for just losing coins. So that's not what we're doing, all right? For those of you guys that are watching this and pulling something glitchy, don't worry about it. It was expected. I'm not supposed to get glitchy. I'm supposed to show you guys the blueprint and you guys are supposed to get glitchy. Again, if, if you're down and out, right? Because I've done things like this with like my last 400K, all right? If you're not bold enough to do that, do not engage with this method. Pretty much you're gonna go with the third method I'm gonna show you after I go through this and get it down to about 2.8. You're gonna like that, Um, the free uh, competitive player, the middle linebacker, instant training. Quick sell him immediately for, you know, for training. Get, get rid of him. You don't need him. Go ahead, Ralph. We don't need you. Bro, Ninja Turtles, the original, 1990. Don't hate. But I'm going to tell you this again, right? The bottom line is there are so many different ways to try to pull bow or to make up cards, you know, and, and, you know, make it easier for you to actually get them. All right. So in that situation, we were not lucky enough to pull Bo Jackson. All right. So we have a few options now because we were, we were at about 3 million or whatever. We can go back right use the 85s to make 90s and sell them you know convert the 82s or you can make training and go gamble inside of the uh, training variety pack it is absolutely your you know it's your prerogative what you want to do i just want to show you guys that right now when you do this if you get to make at least two of them you know parham is going for about 65 to 75 depending on what it is because he's a tall dude and everybody's really excited about it and they're just spending money for him so he's probably the hottest card right now that's being sold so i would just play around with this card for the most part look 78k zero minutes ago so i would just go back to like 74 and you know make it like that so that way you're not really losing too much if you go with this method other than this you would have to then go through your binder okay and find the proper amount of training. Now, I have a lot of other things that I can make right here. You can see that I can utilize what I was pulling, keep redeeming it, and continue the same method, and make more 90s, and sell them, and et cetera, et cetera, all right? Now, with the training aspect, this is solely up to you how you want to do it. You do not have to do it this way, all right? But if you wanna make training, and you, you wanna try to play around with the training variety pack, that's fine. For the purposes of the video, I will go ahead and I will find out uh, how much I have. Uh, you know, I probably just need a little bit. Okay, I probably don't need to do that. Hold on, how much is that gonna bring me to? 2,000. I'm gonna roll one TVP for you guys because I've been getting rid of all of my other cards and I don't really have that many more left. So, you know, pretty much I'm just gonna go ahead and do one. You can do whatever you want. You see how fast Parham sold? You can keep making the 90s and make it lower and lower for the price that you would have to pay and you should be good to go because once I'm done with this video, I'm gonna then make more parhams and just keep selling them and just you know doing what I have to do. So to kind of give you guys a happy holiday to show you guys that I also engage in what I show you, I will now go and bang this one out and that those are your options. So you either go the pack the pack route with a 30K per or you go train in variety. And that's pretty much it. Bang out of Marlon Humphrey and we're done and good to go. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. You have an unbelievable day. Good luck getting the bow. Let me know what you pull. Until next time, one love, y'all.